What's up guys, it's Rob here, and today we're going to be talking about Smile Direct Club stock, ticker symbol SDC, because this stock has been getting a lot of attention on Reddit and Wall Street Bets, the internet, uh, but also has seen some very significant price action. And if we actually take a look at the chart, you can see right here that we have been trading in this $5.60 to $6 zone. Now, why that is important? Well, first of all, we are up over 4% on the day, but why that is important, you can actually see if you zoom out a little bit, to the past 30 days, you can see that we have been trading in the zone a couple of times, and it has often determined the direction that we've been trading in in the past. You can see that oftentimes we get up here and we either bounce down and it acts more as a resistance level sometimes, uh, ends up pushing us further down, or it's sometimes, if we can end up breaking through it, ends up pushing us farther up to new highs. Now, it is currently acting more so as a support uh, because we have been getting pushed down ever since we hit highs of $8.24. We've been getting pushed down uh, past six dollars uh into this five dollar and sixty cent to six dollar level and we are hopefully going to be breaking out of it right we have been touching outside of it earlier today hopefully we'll be breaking out uh over the course of today we are up over four percent we have been bouncing off of the bottom of this range and i do expect based off of another technical if you look at the past year that we will likely be bouncing up <clears throat> over the next couple of days and weeks you can see this line uh, of an ascending pattern that we have Ever since we've really been breaking down with SDC over the past couple of months, we have been in this ascending pattern. And I do think that it's not a coincidence that this uh, zone of support and ascending pattern are kind of touching at this point right here and uh, will likely lead us higher. Just based off the technicals, I do expect to see SDC moving a little bit higher, but that's not all. The real catalyst for SDC moving has been on Reddit and Wall Street Bets. And, you know, these things often coincide with technicals. Um, you know, the charts just happen to make themselves a certain way, and it's very interesting to see how that plays out on a technical level, mixing with uh, the actual, like, not necessarily fundamentals of the company, but fundamentals of the stock price movement, right? Because on Reddit and Wall Street Bets, Smile Direct Club is currently the number two talked about stock. We're up 275% mention-wise in the past 24 hours. We have 398 mentions, 2,900 upvotes, and uh, this stock has been gaining a lot of popularity. Now, a lot of people are talking about it. You can see that on Ortex, one of the reasons why is because this has a fairly high short interest of 43%. We have increased just a little bit today. Uh, we were actually seeing a big decrease in short interest. If you look at this yellow line, this is short interest as a percentage of the free float overlaid on the price. We have been decreasing lately. However, it looks like we are starting to see a small uptick in the short interest again as shorts are getting interested in the stock. Uh, but the reason this thing is pumping is because a lot of people think that 43% is a good amount to have shorted. It's a fairly large company, actually. If you look, um, we can see the market cap of this company is... $675 million. Now that's fairly large. It's larger than a lot of the short plays that we've been seeing more lately. You know, some of them, most of them have been sub 500 million. Um, so this is a fairly substantial company and that's a fairly large percentage of the free float to have on a company of this size. Now, what's very interesting also is if you look at the past two years, you can see that we are also seeing another bullish pattern. Um, right here, we had our lows of around $4 and that $4 level acted as the support that ended up launching us all the way up to highs of 16 before we came back down, rebounded, and now we've been hitting these around $5 levels as our new support right here. So we're actually making higher lows uh, over a long-term time period, and that's very bullish for the stock in combination with this ascending pattern and us bouncing off of this zone of support. I am fairly bullish on the stock overall, just in general, just based off the technicals. Of course, you know, fundamental news could come out, uh, shorts could really double down and push us uh, much further than we are. If that did happen, that would be unfortunate. Um, but I don't expect that to be the case. Now, if you look on Google Trends, you can see that we're actually waning in interest just uh, Google search wise over the past week or so. Um, this is a seven day chart of SDC stock search for Google. Uh, you can see that we were making highs uh, back when uh, probably when we were pumping up much higher than we are now. Uh, yeah, when we were around $8, we were making uh, much higher highs search wise for this stock. However, I do expect that volume to return if we continue based off this technical pattern and start moving up, I think that that could really drive some more volume. When people see that a stock is moving up a lot, they tend to start searching for it more. So what we're really going to have to look for is can we get past this $6 level by the end of the day? That would be nice. Um, potentially, you know, we'll open above $6 tomorrow, but that's what we're really going to have to look for. And there is a bear case to be made for this stock, right? I'm not saying it's all green and that we're just going to go up no matter what. If we did start trending down and actually breaking out of this zone to the downside, that would be very bearish. Now, uh, that is because we haven't really broken down below this level for any significant period of time uh, over the past couple of days, and especially not since making our new high of 824 
Uh, so if we did start to trend below 560, that could indicate to me that we are starting to see the end of this rally and uh, that we might actually be breaking lower, especially if we ended up breaking uh, this trend line right here that we've drawn. Uh, right now, we have a lot of good momentum going for us, right? And if we can stay above this trend line, then this could be a very profitable play for a lot of people. I'm obviously, you know, this isn't financial advice. I'm not recommending that anyone take this play. I'm just pointing out some things that I've noticed with this stock. Uh, but there is the potential that we'll be moving up in a fairly steady way and uh, maybe even spiking up if we can get a lot more attention on uh, the internet as a whole, right? Not just Reddit and Wall Street Bets. You already see that we are number two right there, but we actually want to see more attention just on the whole of the internet because Wall Street Bets, while it is large, isn't uh, the largest community in the world, the largest trading community. It's, a fairly, it's very large, uh, but there are a lot of traders out there who don't go on Reddit, don't go on Wall Street Bets, and actually avoid those stocks. So if we can get more worldwide recognition just on uh, search engines in general and have people looking for this stock more, uh, then that could really drive up some momentum and I think start pushing us into uh, potentially higher highs in the short to near term. Uh, I think that we could be breaking out past this $8 or sorry, $6.70 seven, $6 .70 level um, because this is actually where we ended up breaking down. You can see on our earnings call, uh, we were trading with that as a support level until the earnings came out. There was bad news on earnings and we dipped down and now we're potentially rebounding, right? And that does oftentimes happen with earnings. Sometimes there's an earnings overreaction uh, though you can see that Smile Direct Club has not had great earnings calls in the past, right? We have been dipping down uh, around earnings times often. So uh, it's not been the best for us, but we have been on a very bullish pattern lately. And I think that that could contribute to our overall direction for the next couple of months, maybe until this next earnings call. I would be somewhat wary of that next earnings call because you never know what's going to happen with those earnings. Um, and if you look at the options, let's just take a quick look. You can see that there are quite a few open interest call options on the October 1st strike date, the October 8th strike date, there are slightly fewer. And uh, then October 15th, since these are monthly uh, call options, there will obviously be more. Um, so, you know, these aren't too significant, you know, 16,000, 3,000, 18,000, it's a fairly large amount. However, this is a $600 million market cap company. Um, so I think we would need, really need to see like quite a bit of upward price momentum before we actually started seeing any kind of uh, additional momentum from some kind of gamma squeeze situation. Uh, so I'm not too excited about the options, but I am excited about the short percentage as we saw, 43%, that's fairly significant, and a lot of shorts in the past have had to cover, if you look here, uh, and that didn't necessarily correlate to a massive increase in price. Uh, you can see that it was actually while we were decreasing in price, however, a lot of people, since this is a decently sized market cap company, uh, may have been taking profits on that. Some whales may have been taking profits around here when shorts were covering, um, basically selling to the shorts and otherwise. If that hadn't happened, um, then the shorts covering could have pushed up the price. But if the shorts hadn't been covering when the whales were selling, that really could have pushed us down below this trend line. So I'm very happy to see that this trend line and zone of support have coincided and provided us with a pretty good area um, where we can say, you know, if we drop below this by too much, then it would be fairly fairly bearish for the stock. And I would probably be looking to exit my position, right? If it ended up dropping below uh, 560, that's when I'd be looking to get out. However, at 590, you're taking a 30 cent risk uh, to the downside. You know, if you were to get in, say, right now, and there is quite a bit more upside, in my opinion, um, at least over the next couple of weeks, just based off of these technicals, then there is downside. I think that there's probably more upside potential than there is downside, especially if you have that tight stop loss at 560. Obviously, you know, I'm not telling anyone to take that trade specifically. I will be looking at it. I'll be looking at the price action that we see throughout the rest of the day. If we can really break past $6, I might be looking to take a position in this, especially if we open the day tomorrow with some strong action. I'd be looking potentially to take a position. But other than that, guys, that's all I really have for you on Smile Direct Club. And if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.